There's so. um there's so many things I still want to dig into. <laughs> yeah, the Norco deal though, super interesting. So yeah. how did this come around and what does it look like at the moment? Because I think there's a lot of questions around yeah, uh, yeah. the Norco team, especially yeah. throwing the resources that they are at it and Super having Greg. Exciting. And yeah, so what's it look like for you? So um, I've worked with Greg for a number of years, mm -hmm. four years, something like that. And basically Greg picked up the phone and phoned me and he said, things are, I've been in touch with him and I knew that things were changing. Should we set Santa Cruz? I don't really want to get into that. That's that's his discussions to have. But I knew what was going on. And he basically said, look, I want to move teams and I want you to come with me as a team manager. And I, I said, no. I said, I don't want to be a team manager. I said, that's not what I do. I said, look, I'll write you what I think I'll be really good at doing. I'll write you my job description. You tell me if that fits with what you want. And that's really exciting isn't it because I was like this is what I think I can really bring to the table and what was really good was that absolutely fitted in what Greg wants and that in Greg's viewpoint is what a team manager is right it's like this is what I want I don't need you to book hotels yeah, yeah, yeah I don't need you to book flights we'll have Kathy Sessler do that she's assistant team manager but the decisions that need to be made the buck stops with you and that's exciting and petrifying in equal measure because yeah. I think Greg's found that in the past, decisions that are made aren't necessarily performance-based decisions. They're like a logistical decision or a marketing decision maybe or something like that. And I think he wanted to strip all that away and go, look, we're here for performance. So what, what needs to happen is it starts and finishes with, is it going to help us get better on the bike? So that's the honour that I have in that team. And I've got Kathy who's booking all the flights and doing the logistics and dealing with UCI and all of that stuff. And then Tom Duncan is looking after the bikes and the parts and the truck and all of that side. And I'm sort of having discussions with them and then the engineers who, you know, it's really cool. One of them's got like a Formula One background, so it's super analytical and I can tap into that. And I'm at the moment, I'm planning the training camp. So, and I don't think, I think, Greg's quite excited because I'm going to have quite a good, good structure. I'm going to have a structure. I'm going to say, this is what I want to work towards. These are the outcomes I want to get. Where it deviates from that, no problem. What's a training camp look like? Like a pre-season, right? Like, so this is like a testing. Yeah, this is a testing camp as opposed to a training camp. And okay. so what we're trying to do is understand, I'm in the process of trying to understand, one, what do the riders want to get out of it? Because that's the most important thing, isn't it? Do they want bike time? Do they want to change stuff on their bike? Do they want timing to see how they get faster? Do they want feedback on the track? Mm. Then you've got what the engineers are trying to do. Are they trying to change something? Are they trying to... Wheel sizes, geometry, linkage ratio, all of that stuff that is really important, you know, on the bike. And then you've got the mechanics because some of the mechanics won't have worked with these riders before. Mm. And there will be a case of getting to know the rider and understanding... What I've found historically is if we look at character traits, you've got, um, I don't know if you read the book Surrounded by Idiots, but it's a fascinating book on character traits, well, well worth um, reading. And that's the one book that I felt has explained this really well. And you've got different, you've got Red, who are sort of, I want it now, Alpha, very, very goal driven. You Athlete, know. are we talking about? Uh, yeah. So that's, you've got this, is, this is in, all personalities. Okay, but, sorry, right. So a red personality is commonly found in successful athletes. Then you've got a blue personality. It's often quite methodical, data-driven, number-orientated. Then you've got yellow that's quite creative, but they might go, oh, I like this. And then, oh, I like that. And never necessarily get one thing finished. And then you've got a green personality that are like the worker bees. They're quite happy to be led. They just stay on their furrow. They're quite comfortable with that. Mm. And what you find is you get clashes between certain personality types. Right. So red and green clash quite a lot. I'm quite red and I'm like, I need it done now. And then the green's like, yeah, no problem. And they just, and I'm like, no, it's not fast enough for me. And they're like, I've got 10 things to do. And I'm like, yeah, my thing should be at the top, <laughs> you know, and, and reflecting on that's good because you understand that you're an impatient bastard and that's not going to get <laughs> the most out of people. But then I'm quite blue as well. And the reason I'm saying this is quite often mechanics have different personality types to their rider. Mm. And so you're trying to stand back oh, and, and see this. And I, I have conversations with riders. I won't mention their name, but last year I had a conversation with a rider. I pulled him aside and said, look, 
your mechanic is not this way inclined. You're not going to get the most out of him by breathing down his neck or saying, you need your bike now. You need to give him his time. If at the end of the day or at the end of the weekend, it's not working, then you need to, you know, yeah. that, again, I guess that's where a team manager comes in. You know, how can we get this relationship to work well? And it's understanding characters. And some of those people I've never met before and we're all being put together. So I'm not trying to judge anyone's character. So, and there's no good or bad character. Let's be clear. Yeah. There's no good or bad character just in this. Just different. Yeah. And how can you work with these people to get the most from them? And I've often seen, we need to understand, we had a psychologist come into the Aftons once and it was brilliant. We did this test and you had to do a task. I can't remember exactly what a task was. And you each did it on your own. And then he'd be like, right, now I want you two to pair up. And Ollie, you do the task. Alan's going to stand over and watch you do the task. And then we'd say, well, did you do it better or worse? Hey, man, what an episode that was. You did amazing in it. And so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon. I shone like a focus spring deal. Oh, yeah, beautiful good. transition. Right, I've got a question for you, David, to kick this final advert off. Yeah. What would you do with up to 400 euros? Yeah. If you got it back when buying a bike. Ooh, I could stay in the bike shop and spend my 400 euros on accessories. Good point. Support your local bike shop. Great point. I could take the 400 euros and go to another shop close by, maybe buy 400 euros of pasta. Maybe go to the euro Here's store, get 400 euros and just, that's Christmas done for eternity. True. Just keep handing them out Lottery every year. Lottery tickets. Yeah, beans. Tyres. Um, Chamois cream. A new pet. A new pet, perhaps a water dragon or an iguana. <laughs> yeah. Lovely idea. Well, Focus are actually making that question a reality. Nice. Because with the Focus Spring deals, mm -hmm. you can grab up to 400 euros back when buying a new bike. If you want to find out more, check out the terms and conditions and all of the details in the link. We're going to put that below and I'm also going to read it out. Please. Okay, are you ready for me to read it out? Yes, I'm This is old school in it, reading out links. Yeah, anticipation. I'm going to do it anyway. Please do I'm it. I'm doing it. I want the deal. Ride.focus.bikes forward slash spring deals TRC. Ooh, nice. So that is ride.focus.bikes forward slash spring deals TRC. And let us know in the comments what you would do with 400 euros. Best answer wins a signed O-Dub hat. Oh, I like it. Good. All I've right. got hats. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good okay. for that. Okay. Hey, can we also put something up here that you can click yeah. on for the next episode? How about we put a subscribe up there in the middle? Yeah, love We're going to put a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship yeah. will love yeah. on your face. On oh, my face? Yeah. So and they on can't my... see me now. Gone. And on my face, another video that we think people will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace and love.